Well, I love this, collecting your personal data with, and I want to show you the program that I've used for the last couple of years. Hello, sexy people. So I've been playing Minecraft for about 10 years. Lately, I haven't been playing it as much, but um, recently over the last two years or something, I've gotten into some modded Minecraft. I have done it back in the early days when it was a really big pain, but lately they have the lovely Twitch launcher for doing the Minecraft mods associated with Forge. So if I pop onto like mods for Minecraft, the first one that pops up is Curse Forge, and then if you go to download a specific mod, let's get the Just Enough Items mod, you click install and then it gets the Curse Forge app. The first issue that I have with this is because it's a proprietary software, it doesn't really have an open source counterpart. So that means it only works for Windows and Mac OS currently. And for Linux, there's not really any native support. And I'm a Linux user, but let's, let's say that I am a Windows user and I don't care about any of the open source stuff. I'm gonna go download this for Windows and then just install it. Okay, Curse Forge has now been installed. Very fancy graphics. Oh, well, I love this, collecting your personal data with an opt-out feature. Most people will skip that. Supports a lot of mods using the Curse Forge app. Use the free version with ads or subscribe to level up the support and remove ads. I guess there's a lot of ads in this program. And let's go with Minecraft. Let's go standard. I'm not going to think too much about it. Let's check out the mod packs. Get maybe Pixelmon. That's a the top mod pack. May as well do that. It is now downloaded and I can go play. Okay, so this is a, an okay software. I don't mind it too much. There's a couple of little nuanced things that I don't really like about it, but that's just because I'm a weird person. Now, the thing is with this, it's it's good. It, it works. For Curse Forge, it doesn't work for anything else though. There are some limitations and there are, in my opinion, better programs out there. There's this magical program out there that's been around for many years that I just don't really see many people using. They just stick to the Curse Forge program and I don't understand why. Like, I get it. If it works for you nicely, then stick with it. But if you want to take the red pill, go down the rabbit hole and try out in the other side of this software before Curse Forge was even a thing, then keep watching the video. Also, I really the f oh, what the f is this okay well, i see now that it also comes with this overwolf software that it installs in the background and i just see this as sort of gimmicky programs that don't really help you too much in the game when i want to play a game i want to play the game i don't want to do other crap now i want to go to the dark side of things and i want to show you the program that i've used for the last couple of years you probably would have heard of it multi mc this software here also quite simple to install Whoa, there's a dark theme. I didn't even know that. But the thing is with MultiMC, it replaces all your Minecraft launchers. And it's extremely customizable. I want to give you a bit of a rundown on how this works. So I'm just going to go download, save the file, open it up, standard zip file, and then I'm going to click and drag that onto my desktop. Now, if you run into a Java issue, in any, actually, in any instance of Minecraft, you run into any other than any Java issues, just go to ninite.com, N-I-N-I-T-E, get the JDK8, get the 11 just in case, and get these two as well, the runtimes and the developer tools. Save the file, then install it. Okay, it's finished. What do we have to do? is launch multi-MC. Go next, and we already have the Java. I'm going to give this 12 gigabytes of RAM. You go next, finish. And this here is multi-MC. Pop onto your profiles and managed accounts. You just add your Minecraft account like that. Now, once you have your Minecraft account linked, all you have to do is go add instance. And as you can see, we have AT Launcher, CurseForge, FTB, FTB Legacy, and Technic. We have all the mod packs based on those. If I pop into CurseForge and let's go to the Pixelmon, we also have access to select multiple versions of the Pixelmon mod. Let's go OK. And then it's going to start downloading the, uh, the mod pack. So the last thing I'm going to show you is if you pop into settings, you can change the colors of the software to dark. So you get the nice sexy dark look. You can also add the ones directly from the website that you go to download if they aren't listed here, just by importing the zip. If you go to the mod pack itself, you can download it separately. Now that there is MultiMC, and I urge you just to give it a go and see if you like it. Usually what I do is I take this folder and I chuck it in my program files, and then I create a shortcut of the executable, and just chuck it on my desktop. Go check out some of my other videos. Have a wonderful day.